The walk-in wardrobe behind the bed, a way to make the most of space. The walk-in wardrobe behind the bed is increasingly popular. The walk-in wardrobe behind the bed, if you make the best use of the space, can be a space created or a separate room. For those who are looking for a clean and minimalist style room. The walk-in wardrobe behind the bed is definitely the jewel in the crown. Increasingly in demand, it defines an open wardrobe space into which you can also physically enter. Increasingly popular over the years, the walk-in wardrobe allows you to replace bulky furniture without losing efficiency or comfort. If the bedroom is small, or square, or narrow and long, the walk-in wardrobe behind the bed is the winning choice to optimize space. It eliminates the problem of anti-aesthetics that can arise when buying standard furniture with predefined measurements, which often fail to cover the length of the wall perfectly, risking leaving unused spaces that are not very attractive to look at. How big does the room have to be to install a walk-in wardrobe behind the bed? The minimum size of a walk-in wardrobe is 1 meter and 20 times 3 meters and 20 m. The room must have a total size of at least 3 meters and 20 long and 4 meter wide including the walk-in wardrobe. Please note that if the room is exactly this size, the walk-in wardrobe can be included but, apart from the double bed and bedside tables, there will be no space for anything else. If the room is larger, it is possible not only to fit a walk-in wardrobe but even two. This choice is particularly suitable for couples who can have the walk-in wardrobe divided into two rooms for each person. The walk-in wardrobe behind the bed with a single entrance is in any case an excellent option for couples who do not have a particularly large room, but do not want to give up the efficiency and optimization of space that it brings. The creation of a walk-in wardrobe requires careful planning that takes into account the size of the room, the habits and needs of the customer and the range of available modules produced by the various companies. The choice is almost infinite. Each option offers versatility and therefore the walk-in wardrobe is an investment over time, even if the customer's needs or habits change. Materials and styles of walk-in wardrobes behind the bed. A wall partition behind the bed is all you need to think about installing a walk-in wardrobe. The most common way to organize a walk-in closet is with a supporting structure made of shaped metal profiles to be fixed to the ceiling, to the upper part of the wall or to the floor. The elements are, in most cases, adjustable in height and it is therefore possible to modify the composition of the wardrobe according to requirements. But it is the details that make all the difference. A special paint, for example, can allow you to let your creativity run wild and make the room different. Playing with colors, wallpaper, glass panels, you're spoiled for choice. Plasterboard is the cheapest and least invasive material. Those who are prepared to spend a little more can opt for a glass partition or masonry work. Sliding doors become partitions and offer the possibility of both a visible and a hidden cabin, thanks to materials such as wood or aluminium. For singles and couples, the various uses of a walk-in wardrobe behind the bed. If you live alone, you could use the walk-in wardrobe by dividing it into two modules, one for daily use and the other for seasonal changes of clothes. For the couple we have already seen the two dedicated compartments, but a common compartment should not be forgotten. For example a central element designed to hang the longer clothes of both, such as dresses or coats. A chest of drawers with two pull-out shelves for shirts and two drawers for underwear should also be considered. 